The Caymanian skier competing at the Winter Olympics is catching on like wildfire in the international media. Dow Travers is counting down the days before he begins his competition at the Winter Olympics. Dow competes in the giant slalom event beginning in Vancouver in 10 days' time. Recently, he was featured on the American lifestyle network Plum TV. And the oddness of a Caribbean athlete competing at the Winter Games isn't lost on Dow. Everyone back home is just ecstatic, really, that we're making a landmark for Cayman and that we're actually going out and doing something that most people thought we couldn't do. Down the gate. Where? Whenever you go abroad and you're racing and people see the Cayman's jackets, they always have a double take at you. They don't necessarily believe it at first. I don't want to let my country down, is the main one. I, and I also don't want to let myself down. <laughs> but. You can't be thinking about the pink elephant in the room when you're in the start gate, so I'll just be thinking about doing my best and absolutely going for it. We'll continue to track Dow's preparations as he currently prepares for the Winter Olympics. As I said, starting February 12th, he's not the only Caribbean uh, participant there. Errol Kerr from Jamaica will also be there. Dow has been moving up and down the colder regions looking for the right conditions to help his preparations ahead of his historical journey. Moving on to some track and field news tonight. Another one of our Carifta medal hopefuls is counting down the weeks to the Caribbean Junior Championships. Field competitor Alexandra Terry, much like her teammate Travis Webb, has been on the podium twice before at Carifta and she wants to end her junior career with a gold at home. It's a lot of pressure because um, I have to, I want to make my country proud and I'm going to try to do my best and give it all I have. Medals are Alexandra Terry's primary focus for the Easter weekend meet. I've been coming to her every day and training very hard. I train at least four times a week and on Saturdays. Um, I've been going to the gym or trying to go to the gym as much as possible. I'm working alongside coach to better myself. Coming off a silver medal at last year's Island Games in Finland, Alexandra hopes her vast international experience can take her to the podium once again. I just have to go out there and give it what I've been giving it all along. Keep, keep um, looking forward to success and keep my head up and just go out there and try my best and make my country proud. Medals at the 2006 and 2007 championships have made the 18-year-old hungry for more success at the Caribbean championships. Last year, I got a little um, brief, like, I saw a little bit of competition and I saw like what was out there. So um, I, th I feel like I have to go out there and give it more than what I gave it last year. Uh, I am Alexander Terry and at Carifta, I'll be going for more of these. We wish her the best of luck. Grab your rackets now, time for some local tennis news. The men's open section of the Pricewaterhouse Coopers Open served off last evening at the Cayman Islands Tennis Club on South Sound. Some of the island's top players battling it out for the next few days. Last night, local favorite, there he is, Nigel Mitten in the gray, made like work of Oris Angus in the green, 6062. He moves on to face the Barbadian Richard Henry tomorrow night. Local pros Dale Ambridge and Rob Seward were, bo were both winners last night as well. Edward Eduardo Torres stopped McCoy Malcolm of Jamaica on an exciting opening night of tennis in the men's division. The action continues every evening this week at the South Sound Club with the finals on Saturday. Switching to cricket now and after weeks of speculation, former fast bowler Otis Gibson has been appointed as the new coach of the West Indies cricket team. Gibson leaves his post as the bowling coach with the England cricket team to replace John Dyson in the West Indies' top job after the Australian was fired last year. Gibson takes over the reins at the end of the month for the home series against Zimbabwe. But for the meantime, David Williams leads the Caribbean side to Australia in the coming days for the second part of their tour down under. The Windies face the Aussies in five one-day internationals and two 2020 matches starting on Sunday.